Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean 2. Last time we did some more item creation, which is what we've been doing all week. And we're going to continue that trend today. Now, since last time, I've done a lot of work off screen because there was a lot of stuff that we can do. Uh, step one was I filled out everybody's um, list of talents there, got some more points, and filled in some more of our skill points on different things. On Raina's Path, the one we're on right now, I've put about five points into Below the Belt with pretty much everyone because they had a few more extra points. And my plan for Raina's Path is to only go up until the end of the game. So I'm not going to be going into the bonus dungeon with Raina's Path. There really serves no purpose in bringing her path that far if I'm already going to do it on Claude's path, so it didn't really matter. Uh, the second thing that I did, uh, let's see here, is I did some of the item creation that I was talking about. Now, there are 13 items that we, ideally, that I've listed that I actually want to create, and these are just the regular items. This doesn't include stuff I went over in the last episode, such as Fairy Ring. Well, I didn't do Fairy Rings in the last episode. I created a few more on Rain's Path because I needed them. Things like the Dream Bracelet, we want four of those. Stone Checks, we only need four of those. I happen to get an extra one. Uh, re replicating Rune Caps and uh, Rune Bucklers and that kind of thing. Um, stuff that I talked about in the last episode. Now, I also did talk about some of these items in uh, the last episode as well. There are actually 13 of them uh, to note, and here I only have nine of them. Two other ones that I don't have are cards, which increase experience and drop rate, which you only need if you're going to the post-game dungeons. And the other two I happen to be missing on this path. I was missing two on the other path as well. So what I want to do is I want to get into the final bit of item creation that we haven't really done much with yet. Um, I'm going to hold off on using um, Orchestra for the moment, because none of these characters have uh, any high level with compounding. So I'm going to do that on the other path, on Claude's path, where I have people already set up to do this. Okay, the next thing we want to talk about is some of the equipment that I never got around to mentioning before. Uh, let's see here. So I gave all of my mages the rune cap, but we went out of our way to make the Isis tiara. Now, the real effectiveness of this is it increases attack magic by 50%. It is insanely good if you plan on using attack magic, which I don't. It's not very good for Reyna since she has very few attack spells anyway, but if you're going to use uh, Selene at this point in the game, though I don't really know why you would, then that would be a good choice to have on her. It also has the best defense of anything, so I guess it could be useful. I like the rune cap myself, which is why I moved those around. Um, there are other items you can get, such as the armband of Kaylee. I think this one is blacksmithing either Ori Calcum or Damascus without uh, Magical Rasp. If not, I'll uh, put a correction uh, annotation in there. Um, but basically, it's an all-around good shield. I prefer the Paralysis Protection myself on my mages, but it's entirely up to you. Um, for all of my physical... Oops. For all my physical attackers, I like to have the Star Guard. I find it's the best all-around defense that you can grab. Um, and evade and all that stuff and having the stars come out really does save your ass in a bunch of fights. So that's why I've done that and why I don't have the Isis uh, TR equipped at the moment because it's it's a toss-up. I basically made it to show it off more than anything and then I forgot to do it at the end of last episode. Okay, so next we have the Jeans Helm. I never showed how to create this because you don't have to. All you have to do is go to North City and you can buy it. Simple enough. Uh, the other thing is you could also uh, duplicate it. It comes uh, by default when you recruit uh, Chisato. So that's where you're going to get the one that I happen to have. And you'll want to duplicate it to equip on Pressis and or Opera. Um, it's probably the best helm they can get at this point. You could use the Mithril Helm, which I don't have right now. I think it has 65 defense, but it has no elemental protection. And it's just not as good in my opinion. Now, the Star Greaves. The Star Greaves are not bunny shoes, but in order to add uh, different levels of difficulty on the different paths, I decided to create them as an alternative to getting the bunny shoes for two reasons. One, to show off a little more challenge. Two, because I didn't want to do the bunny racing stuff again. So, there you go. 
and it gives you a little bit of elemental protection. So as you can see on this path, we have a decent amount of elemental protection. We're protected from four different elements, so that's not bad. Not that it really matters all that much. There's not a lot of spells that are getting off on us these days. Um, let's see, what else did I want to go over? Oh, right. The Owl Goal. This is a terrible shield possessed by the magical powers of the legendary Medusa. It's got some really nice stats, it's got some additional stamina. It's actually a really good shield. However, only I think, let's see if we go into here, should be able to find it relatively shortly. It's a small name, should be easy to pick out. No, no, there it is. Uh, select. Yeah, so I believe Opera and uh, these two can use the shield. Now what it does is it has a small chance, and it's actually not that small of a chance. It's actually the uh, most accurate instant death item in the game. Um, and what it does is it has a chance when it blocks to inflict petrification on the enemy. Now this is useful in like two fights in the game. So I'm not really gonna put it on until then, but it's nice to have created it for the purpose that we will be wanting to use it, presumably in the post dungeon. Okay, that's pretty much all we wanted to do on this path. So I'm just gonna load up other file. I don't know why, but I guess all the talking I tend to do on uh, Claude's path means that the, the time, the amount of time I've spent on this file is like eight hours more now. It used to be five, now it's like eight. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so we've done that. And the next thing I wanted to do is let's, oh, no, let's go into skills. Now I showed on the other path that I had unlocked all of the uh, skill or the talents that we were able to get. Well, I left one off of Opera so that I could show off how I did it. So if you go into Items, Specialty, Orchestra, because if you have Orchestra playing, the chances of you unlocking a talent are much higher. Go to Item Creation, Authoring, choose the character Opera, and just create a random book. With Orchestra playing, you have a much higher chance of unlocking a hidden talent, and it often happens on the first or second try. In fact, while you're playing the song, oftentimes you can unlock two or sometimes even three talents on different characters all at the same time because it's just so easy with orchestra playing. So we've unlocked the final one. That's the uh, writing talent there. Uh, you need authoring, I believe, at above level five, which is really easy to get at this point since uh, writing is, I think, or authoring is entirely based on the writing skill and it only costs like under 10 all the way up to like level eight. So it, it's really easy to get. I just max it out because why not? Uh, take a look at the excess uh, I, or SP that I have at this point. It's not super high on anyone except for Reyna. So Reyna is going to waste all of her remaining points on Motormouth. There we go. Now, oops, don't, want to turn on, don't want to turn that off, but that'll allow her to cast spells a little faster in battle, which makes her a little more useful. Unfortunately, on this path, I won't be using her all that much at this point. I have made uh, a new party, and I'm going to be sticking with this party as my main party for the rest of the game. However, we have four dungeons, four fields coming up, and so I'm going to do two with this party. I'm going to do one with either this party or my spare party on the other path, probably the spare one on the other path and then we're all er, on Reyna's path, and then we'll use the Reyna's party that I have, consisting of Dias, Ashton, uh, Pressis, and Reyna. So basically, I'm gonna try and use as many characters as possible for at least one dungeon. Uh, I think the one that won't see any light is probably Ernest, but I will show off kind of a method of making use of him, if you so decide to make use of him. Other than that, so we've done that. Now, the other thing, uh, one of the items that we want to get access to. Now, I've created 20 of each of these useful items on this path. On uh, Rain's path, we only did 10 because we're not going into the post-game dungeon. If you're going into the post-game dungeon, you probably want more. So there are 13 items we need. Spring, I finally looked up what this one does. Revives all party members in battle with 100% HP and MP. This is so beyond broken. <laughs> But chances are you're not going to use it all that much until like the last three super bosses in the game. 
So, for the most part, it's not all that useful, even though it's so overpowered. Discovery card, uh, we only want to use on one enemy in the game, so you probably don't need 20 of them. I just did it because why not? Resurrection Mist is pretty easy to come by, so you should be able to already have found one or two of those and just replicate it with the reproduction ability. Fairy Mist, most of the items that I reproduced that I mentioned in the last episode are ones that we were able to pickpocket one or two of in the past, which is why I specifically went out of my way to show those off, because we would need them at this point in the game. If not, I will be including a list of how to item create all of the items that we're going to talk about here. Uh, so, Holy Mist restores 60% HP to all friends. That was one of the ones I didn't have on this path, though I did on Rain's path. So I'll show how to create that one. Uh, let's see here. Energy tonic we don't need. Uh, care tablet. Basically what this does is it prevents you from being inflicted with status effects. So if you're not protected from poison, paralysis, petrification, you use one of these at the start of battle and you don't have to worry about things. Uh, fairy glass allows you... Um, uh, we haven't seen the other one yet. Okay, so Fairy Mist is the other one. Fairy Mist allows you to uh, not consume MP for all party members, and Fairy Glass is just on one. So basically, I think it only lasts like 30 seconds, but it's so worthwhile using, especially in boss fights where you're, like long boss fights, where you're spamming attacks the entire time. Herbal Oil just gives you more uh, MP, which is very nice. Extension Card doubles your experience, only useful if you're going beyond the... Uh, the main game there. Uh, got a statue, uh, restores MP of all friends. There we go, 30%. And Angel Statue uh, heals all friends 30% HP. So having a lot of these items in combination with not having Reina is one of the main reasons why I can put Reina to the side for my main party and deal with the healing abilities and the status recovery abilities of items and Opera's Healing Star. Now, that's not all of the items that I was going to talk about. There's a few missing from this list. One will build item create in a moment. The other one is spring water. I talked about this one before. It uh, heals poison, paralysis, and petrification. If we want to get access to this one, we're going to need to do something. Uh, let's see, who has the most skill points at the moment? Bowman. Let's see, we need to finally work on whistling and animal training and we want to get it up to level 9 or level 10 once we've done that where's Bowman at there we go we can go to familiar call bird eventually an eagle will come to us and we can order some items from there including spring water you can item creation this as well but I find no real use in doing so uh, I'd much rather just buy it outright. It's a lot easier. Now, with uh, the familiar ability, different levels give you different types of items from the shop. So I was saying before, I wanted to keep certain characters from getting too high in terms of their levels. So I'm just gonna have him up there for now so that I can buy the specifically spring water, blueberries, blackberries, and spectacles. That's the only real reason you need on this one. You will settle accounts. It'll send the bird off. And eventually the bird will come back and give you the uh, items. I think it's based on steps or something to that extent. Anyway, we're not worried about it because we'll be fine. Okay, so we've done that. We've done... Okay, so we're on to creating those items that we didn't have. So on this path, I didn't have the Holy Mist or the Fairy Mist. And on Reina's path, I didn't have the... Where is it? The Goddess Statue right here. So I'm going to show you how to create all of those today. So, go into specialty, play music, make things a little easier, item creation, compounding. We're just pairing these two things together. We got level 9 with Ernest, I did that off screen. And we want to compare or pair two of these together. And what it does is it'll give you an item randomly. Well, it's one of, I think, a few. And luckily, I got Fairy Mist on my first try. So, that's how you can get that one. And if you want to get. Uh, Holy Mist, you want to compare Lavender and Rose Hips, though chances are I won't get it. You can also get Sweet Syrup that way. Uh, the other one you can do is you compare 
that one with lavender, and sometimes you'll get it as well. These are really rare to get, so I'm not going to show like a successful attempt at me getting all of them. That's why I have the energy tonics, because I kept failing to get what I wanted. So rose hips and lavender, or acaress, or however you pronounce that one, and uh, lavender. And that one failed. So yeah, we'll try a couple more times, and if it doesn't work, oh well. But that's the basic pattern of how you're supposed to get it. And yeah, you can create lots of other stuff that you don't care about. Fast forward. Yeah. Okay, enough of that. Basically, that's how the process goes. Like I said, I'll include a list uh, either in the video or in the video description. Maybe both, depending on how I'm feeling during editing, of how to get those. Now, the... Where is it? The uh, goddess statue. Uh, I may have been missing the care. No, I think I, I'm pretty sure I was able to pickpocket some of those. If not, like I said, the, the list will be there. The goddess statue I was missing on the other one. That or on uh, Rainus Path. So that one's going to be a little bit different. So we want to play music again. And we want to do item creation and art. And I believe I made a list here. Did I not? Uh, yes, so we want to use the magical clay. Uh, I thought I had somebody at a higher level than Selene. Hmm. Well, we'll have to get somebody at a higher level in order to do that. But you just keep doing this over and over again. Fast forward. And then, if you're lucky, you'll get something good and not something crap. If you want to uh, raise your uh, ability at that, you can just go in here. Like, you could use anyone who has any extra points at this point. I would recommend characters you're not going to use, like Lee Celine. So you could do that with Celine if you wanted to. There we go. We're up to level seven. That should make things a little bit easier. It'd be nice to actually uh, create this one on screen, though. The problem with doing it with art is it's one of like twelve different possibilities, so it's going to be really rare to get it. This is also how you can get some of the cards, though. The good ones are through magical canvas, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the uh, silence ones don't matter. You can also get uh, a Jack in a Box item from doing that as well. Uh, that was the item that we were able to uh, pickpocket earlier in the game. Like the treasure chest, it just gives you a random item. You can also get other such items from that as well. Uh, I believe a treasure chest is actually item creationable at some point. Um, there's lots of other things you can get from it. It looks like I'm not going to be able to get the uh, item that I was wanting, but oh well. I guess we'll just call it a day. So yeah, the goddess statue is obtainable through magical clay, and I will include a list of how to find pretty much all the items we've talked about today uh, in a moment. One more piece of item creation today, and uh, for those of you wondering when we're going to get back on the plot, we still have a little bit of stuff to do. I'm going to go over the remaining few things of item creation, which aren't that many, and then we're going to start a side quest, and then we're going to work on some more private actions before we actually advance the plot. I know this is a lot of stuff to get into. There's my uh, spring waters. Um, but unfortunately, there's just a lot of stuff that we can do at this point in the game. For me, it's actually really difficult to do the um, the or all of the off-screen aspects of this as well. So just kind of be aware that <laughs> it's not the easiest thing in the world for me to do either. Now, do know that a lot of this stuff, like getting 20 of a lot of these items, is completely unnecessary. You don't need to do this. But I figure I might as well show off how to create some of the best items in the game for healing, as well for the equipment that we're going to use, and all of that kind of stuff. Okay, um, next we want to go into super specialties. And I don't have it yet. Okay, so let's go into skills. We need to get reverse side. And reverse side, I believe, requires the one point that most of us have not put in yet, which will be into piety. So we'll put one point into piety. Okay, I was mistaken. I was thinking it was piety. It was not. It is poker face courage and copy and you want that on as many people as you can so i'm going to put one person one one person one point into copying per person and then a few points into courage and poker face just to level them up so that i can get a good high level of the ability reverse side which is right here oh the level's already 10 never mind that We'll just go straight into item creation then. That works too. I'll uh, fill out the other characters' uh, few points in it 
uh, in a moment. But anyway, use orchestra. Go down to reverse side. And it uses vellum paper, which we can buy and give away, as with pretty much all the item creation stuff we need. And what we get from this is we get items that are, for the most part, intended on getting us money. Stock certificates can be sold. Uh, we can get some, a bunch of other items as well, if it'll show them. A bounce check is a failure. Now, having that in your inventory, take a look at my money for a moment, it's actually going down. You can't get rid of it. And the only way to actually be rid of it is to go and sell it. Uh, we'll go up here, sure, why not? But yeah, it'll continue to uh, drain your money as you have it. And if you have a whole bunch of them, it'll drain even faster. And if you want to sell it, it's the only item in the game. Man, I have too many items. I gotta sell a bunch of this stuff. You actually have to pay them to get rid of it. Uh, stock certificates, like I said, they're just there for selling to get more money. As you can see, the failure in doing this is losing money when the goal of it is to gain money. But it's not the only thing you can do with reverse side. Let's see if we can get something else. Really? A second ledger. Interesting. Uh, Lian, um, claim ownership of something. Now, some of these have an interesting ability. Um, I'm not sure if it's Lian or if it's one of the other ones. I just want to get rid of the bounce check again. Can't believe I got two of them in a row. There we go. Now, I believe using a second ledger allows you to save 5% when you go to shops or something like that. And this one either allows you to take ownership of a shot or of a, an inn and get a free inn for the night, or it gives you a random item. There's a bunch of these things. They all do kind of interesting things if you want. But that's not the main reason we want to do this. The best item we can possibly get out of reverse side is the forged metals. I'll just probably leave that whole dealy in there. And we get forged bills. Those are nice for selling. Stock certificates are for selling. Another bounce check. God, it likes failing a lot. Anyway, so we'll sell that there. So yeah, the forged metal is the ideal item that you can get out of it. And if you didn't get one through, um, or through the mischief item earlier in the game, then you can get some stuff that way. I'm just going to sell all this stuff because I don't need it. Um, I can keep those. I'll sell a bunch of other stuff off screen, but just get rid of some of that stuff for now. Anyway, once you have enough of them, you can uh, just reproduce the items as well, the uh, forged metals. Now, I already did 19 of them off screen because it was simpler for me to do it that way. But next time, we'll get into why we need 20 forged metals and four, where'd they go? Four dream bracelets. There we go. Found them. Anyway, that's all for this one and I'll see you guys next time.